We have new developments to report tonight in the case of missing Kalamazoo doctor Talika Patrick. We have obtained a letter that famed gospel singer Marvin Sapp apparently sent to her three months before she disappeared from Kalamazoo in December. The letter permanently boots Patrick from Sapp's church. Some have questioned whether or not it had anything to do with why she went missing. 24 Hour News 8's Leon Hendricks has tracked this case since the beginning. He has our report tonight. It is perhaps the part of the case that has garnered the most attention and speculation, this connection with Marvin Sapp. But police said unequivocally today that they do not suspect Sapp of any wrongdoing. It's a letter that, in nicer words, tells Talika Patrick that she's not welcome. It appears to have come from Sapp's church on the southeast side of Grand Rapids in response to stalking allegations that have been made against the now-missing doctor. The letter was sent in mid-September. Patrick went missing on December 5th. The note purportedly from Sapp and signed by his church's board of directors has a clear message. Grace and peace, Miss Patrick, it reads. We greet you in the matchless name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. It goes on to accuse Patrick of quote unquote continuous interaction, inappropriate emails and pictures sent to Pastor Marvin L. Sapp, visiting Pastor Marvin L. Sapp's residence and continuous attempts to talk and interact with Pastor Marvin L. Sapp's children. Today, sheriff's officials confirmed that Patrick appears to have come to West Michigan to be close to a love interest, a person she reportedly claimed was her fiance. Police say Marvin Sapp had no connection to Patrick. He has never corresponded back to her is what we have indications. In fact, uh, we believe he's probably never met her. But private investigator Jim Carlin questions that notion. There had to be some nexus up there in Grand Rapids with Sapp and her. The way it sounds is if uh, he doesn't even know her, and I don't believe that for a minute. He says he has reached out to Pastor Sapp to no avail. Why he wouldn't want to reach out is uh, baffling. Today, investigators broke their weeks of silence and went on record with where their investigation stands. They revealed for the first time that they suspect Patrick was headed to a relative's home in Chicago when she disappeared. While they have gotten numerous calls about Patrick, none have helped find her, they say. That letter signed with Marvin Sapp's name closes saying, quote, we are praying for you and wishing you well in your endeavors to find a new church home. That letter was found by private investigator Jim Carlin when he searched Patrick's home. We reached out to Sapp and his church. A representative did call us back and said, quote, the church has no comment and our pastor doesn't either. The sheriff's department says that Marvin Sapp has cooperated fully with detectives. Back to you. Tonight, Talika's family sent us a statement saying, quoting here, we have fished for clues on Twitter, spoken to hordes of friends and associates, hung up signs on cold metal posts, and every step of the way we have prayed like we have never prayed before. We are past the point of desperation. We're running on fumes and running out of time. The family has raised $20,000 for information leading to finding Talika. If you missed any of our live coverage of the Talika Patrick News Conference this morning, you can watch it at woodtv.com. We'll stay on this case as it develops.